corruption is estimated by South Africa's government to have cost the economy $700 billion. For many, former President Jacob Zuma is the symbol of that corruption. He was forced to resign during his second term in February 2018. As a series of scandals surrounding him and the governing African National Congress Party intensified. Zuma repeatedly says he's done nothing wrong. This is a conspiracy created by certain people and spies against me. State-owned companies were allegedly mismanaged and looted to benefit Zuma and his associates. From the passenger rail agency, which is bankrupt, to South African Airways, which is close to collapse, thousands of workers went on strike last month, protesting job cuts they say are the direct result of corruption. The state-owned power utility ESCOM is also in trouble, leading to rolling blackouts nationwide. The manager of this bakery in Soweto says the power cuts have cost thousands of dollars in lost business, and bakers' jobs are threatened if they continue. Two former senior managers at ESCOM have been charged with corruption. The blackouts have been disruptive and have cost the economy millions of dollars. Not only were businesses left in the dark, but here in Soweto's tourist area, restaurants and shops had to shut their doors when protests broke out. While Zuma hasn't been charged for alleged crimes during his time in office, he's facing a fraud and corruption trial related to a weapons deal in the 90s, which were dropped before he became president and later reinstated. It's not yet clear if his trial will proceed in February as he fights to stay out of court by petitioning the Supreme Court of Appeal. Zuma's testified at a government inquiry into corruption, but says he's too ill to return. What we've seen through Jacob Zuma's um, two terms as state president is, you know, the, the weakness within the governing party, the ANC. You know, the fact that the ANC has been up for sale, you know, the patronage networks, you know, that operate in the state and in the ANC. And that also shows you just how deep and entrenched, you know, the problem is. Many are skeptical they'll get the answers on corruption they're looking for in the year ahead. They expect further delays in the justice system and face the certainty that vital state-owned companies will require more bailouts to stay afloat, costing taxpayers more than they can possibly afford. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera, Johannesburg.